Now, tonight I am very, very excited because I'm going to be speaking to a gentleman that really I can't believe I didn't know before now. As Beard of the Year 2019, I do have to try and take care of the facial hair. Now, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of gentlemen out there that like to try and do the same and find it a little bit difficult at times. We know it gets a bit unruly. And listen, I'm not being rude or, you know, trying to discriminate against anyone. Maybe some girls out there like a little bit of beard. I know my mum does. However, she tries to tame hers as much as she can. But I'm going to be speaking to a guy now that started his business a good few years back and he is absolutely flying. We're talking about Mobros, and it is time to say hello to Caval. Hi, mate, how are you? Hey, Ryland, yeah, really good, thank you, really good. So, Kev, I want to speak to you, because as I said, you have very kindly sent me a few of your products that you sell through Amazon, and um, I've been looking at this one. This is proper ultimate. This is the Beard Maintenance Grooming Kit. Now. This pretty much has everything personally I would need to tame the mane on my face, to be perfectly honest. Would you mind talking me through a couple of the steps? The very first thing you want to be doing is using that soap that's in there. Um, it's cleaning uh, your skin's natural oils away, and what you're going to be doing next is putting some oil back in. So we've got um, a little beard oil in, in the kit for you. Yes, we have. Um, Go on the beard oil. And we've... And then we've got two styling products uh, that are included, so beer, balm or butter, and it's, it's just a matter of choice with those two. Um, you could go for a butter, which gives you a really nice matte finish, or you could go for a balm that gives you a slight shine. So it depends on, on how you feel and where you are. Where so you I, are I could have a shimmery day. beard? You could have a shimmery <laughs> beard if you want. And, you know, you, you've, you've got, you're already beard of the year, so you've got to uphold that title. 2019. 20, 20, 20, 2019. Okay, come 2020 on. hasn't been announced, so we, we need to get it in right now. Anyway. This, is, this is what we're going for. We're going for the double. Now, I've probably double. got a million of these beard combs, but I do have to say this one's lovely. Is this wood? So this is wooden. Uh, it's a wooden comb, and we do that so it doesn't snag, so it's anti-static. Um, and if you if you want to run it through your beard just there and just see how that feels, there's no snagging. Oh yeah. And it just trains. You want to be using this every day, and it just makes combing really easy, really fun. It's got rounded edges as well, so it doesn't ever scratch your skin. That's right. You're completely it just right. Glides I find through. a lot of the time, I find a hell of a lot of the time that when I do use a beard comb, it gets caught the second I put it in my beard. So what is it about these these teeth that are that are doing that? Well, all the edges have been rounded off, and wood naturally is anti-static, so you've got, at the same time, it's almost like it's massaging your skin as it goes through, so you'll feel it feels really nice. It does. And there's, and it, you, you know what it's like when we've had the odd hair that's caught up in a standard brush, you know, and it snags, and you're like, ow! But you, you're removing precious beard hair, really, and, you know, we've grown it with pride, so, you know, we should comb it with pride, and where, you know, use the right, right utensil, she would say, or... Uh, device absolutely um, and we've got our trusted beard oil as well you know and and that you know is is your sidekick and this is going to be your secret weapon this year i think right well let's talk about this beard oil because this is vanilla and mango i've got to say i'd probably wear this oil as an aftershave because it smells so nice i always get confused with a beard oil do i pop that in my hand and pop it on my beard and then comb or do i actually put it on the comb uh, well, I've never heard of putting it on the comb, but, we, but I'm, I'm guessing there's always a first for everything, <laughs> right, Ryland? Um, <laughs> but, um, but normally I just get a couple of drops um, in my palms. So for your beard length, probably three or four drops. Yeah. And then you really want to just work it into your hands and really get it in there, you know? Um, want to get it right down to the skin, into your moustache and all the little creaks and then over your beard as well. And you can feel, as soon as that goes on, you know, Goodness, it yeah. smells good. It, and it no. just makes your beard feel soft, and you can see see already it's gave you a slight little shine to it. So that shiny beard. It's just just that feeling. <laughs> yeah, it does feel. And it becomes so routine. Nice. It does feel so so nice, and also as well when it comes down to oils and things like that, I I sometimes have sensitive skin and and things like that. This oil is going to be going on the face. What's the skincare like when it comes down to the oil? So it's a completely natural formulation. So we're using grapeseed, argan oil, oba, and we're using sweet almonds. So you don't really have to worry about that. And, you know, the fragrance is kept down to a minimum. Very rarely will you get any irritation, um, if any, 
um, from using a, a natural product compared to something that's got chemicals in it. Absolutely. And then there's so many people. I don't think I even could begin to grow a beard until I was about 24, 25. And there's so many guys out there that are, you know, in their 30s and always find it difficult to grow a beard. Like, I didn't think I'd ever have a beard for a start, and lo and behold, here it is in all its glory. But what is the top tip for maintaining your beard? Because, you know, I'm at the moment going through a stage where I'm trying to grow my line out a little bit more. So I want to go slightly higher with my line because I tend to shape it a little bit lower down the face because it's a shame to waste these beautiful cheekbones, Kev. Do you know what I mean? So, <laughs> but I, I want it to look a lot yeah. more fuller. How would you sort of promote um, getting a really great beard? So we've got a few tricks for that. You know, again, we were really set with using natural ingredients. So the, the oil that you've got there um, introduces vitamins A, B, uh, there's linoic acid, and it's, it's um, I think it's that, that's called the vitamin B7. So you, you're introducing natural vitamins to, that's going to help uh, aid your hair and keep your follicles hydrated. That we do have beard balm, or we have beard butter as well. So balm is probably the best because it adds volume to your beard. If you've got yours there, I'll show you exactly how to get some of that in as well. So what are we going for, the balm or the butter? We'll go for the we'll go for the beard balm this right, time. Right, we're going for the balm. I love the little pots as well. So you want to grab uh, your nail and scoop out a little pea-sized amount, just just about that. Yeah, got that. Get it into your palm. Get it into the palm. And then mix mix it in, and you'll see it will just melt. It does just disappear. Just just disappears. You, the warmth from your hands will just just melt it. So you want to get that from top down. And all you want to do is just cover all your face. Oh, yeah. Oh, it feels so And you'll soft. find that it'll, it'll make it really soft. It's going to make it give you a slight volumizing look. And, and, and it gives it, tops up that little shine as well. So it gives you a fuller look straight away. Oh, that is really nice. I'm just now looking at myself on the camera. It does. It really, really feels nice. And is this going to promote growth of the beard? Yeah, so what, what Balm's doing is that you, it's a topical treatment that's locking in moisture and all the goodness within your beard. So, you know, if you think we're constantly in and out, you know, we're in a hot environment and then we'll go outside, it's very cold. And that temperature uh, change, you know, can affect, affect your hair. It can cause it to dry out really fast. So by having a Balm um, and putting a product on, it's going to be making sure that, you know, we, we're keeping the existing hair that we've got in its best condition. Absolutely. Um, well, look, I've enjoyed having a good old play, and again, thank you so much for sending me this stuff. I literally want to lick my own face, which isn't the best thing to be doing at the moment. Uh, and speaking of the moment, it's been quite a tough time for many of us this whole year, 2020. It's been one of those years that I don't think any of us are going to forget in a hurry. As a small business, I mean, you must have really, really been through the mill this year. It's, it's, it's been, you know, uh, a really, really tough time, I think, for a lot of businesses. And, and I do feel that, but I guess we've been a little bit fortunate. We had uh, what we call the rise of a lockdown bid. So we had guys that were hitting that bucket list here. You know what it's like? It's like, yeah. well, we've got this time. We're sat at home. What can we do, you know? And I think, well, I can't get to the barber. So let's, let's, just, um, let's just grow a bid. Why not? Let's tick that box. So we were quite fortunate that, you know, we were able to serve those beers and those guys that were choosing to grow, uh, we were able to support them. Um, and, you know, it's, it's been a fairly positive year for us. Um, I'm just glad that we could help. You know, we get messages every day saying, Lo love what you guys do. I've got a great beard now. And, um, you know, people have had some real fun with it. And Kev, let me ask you this, because... Uh, not a lot of people realise the amount of small businesses that are actually on Amazon. Uh, people just think it's, it's big companies and things like that. There's a hell of a lot of small businesses on there. Why do you sell through Amazon? I think it's important when anyone is starting up uh, to sell on Amazon, um, you want to get your quick wins in first. So uh, Amazon for us guys, um, you know, it was a marketplace that had access to millions of customers. It's a marketplace that is known, liked and trusted. Um, and, you know, you, it takes away all the anxieties that Mobro's customers have 
for when they're ordering online. So you don't have to worry about when your item's going to be delivered. It's usually within 24 hours. Um, you can look at reviews. So everything's backed by a review. Um, so you can make a better buying choice. You know, we've all been down that road where, you know, we've bought from maybe a marketplace that doesn't have a review and, you know, it sometimes leads to disappointment. So you can avoid that. And my favorite is Prime. You know, you can get items delivered um, when, within such a short space and there's no delivery charge. So for Mobro's customers, you know, no one likes paying the postage. Yeah. Um, you can see the, the shift into digital. You know, you've got my mum using Amazon and you just see parcels turn up every single day and she's ordering. Like, mum, what are you getting now? What are you getting? I needed it. I had to have that. <laughs> it's so nice to hear that because, like I say, and I can't stress enough because I genuinely did not realise how many small businesses were actually on the site. And there'll be a lot of people out there, especially this year, that maybe have had a bit of a career change, maybe not through choice, and have always had that idea about starting their own business. Why should they sit there and actually think about that? And if they decide that they do want to do that, what should they be doing now? Well, I, it always starts with market research. So I always think, you know, if you've got a great idea, let's back it up with some way, you know, meat on the bone. Um, so you could look into enrolling into the Amazon Business Accelerator, which has got loads of workshops um, from marketing to researching products uh, to looking at different industries. Um, so, I, you know, it's really easy now because you've got uh, insights into all the growth opportunities, identifying um, what you want to sell, why you want to sell it, um, selling products that you're most importantly passionate about as well. If you love something, it's never going to feel like work. You're just going to end up going into something you, you love doing. Um, and I think if you're looking at starting up online, you know, there's never been a better time because there's so much opportunity. Consumers are buying online. And we've seen a real natural shift, and it's here to stay. So I think when I think about how I think, you know, there's, there's two ways. There's perfect and there's prolific. And you can never really hit perfect. You know what it's like. You know, there's everyone's idea of perfect is different. So I think prolific always wins. So if you're sitting there thinking, well, well get started tomorrow, just do it today. Get online, start researching. Uh, the blueprint is already out there. Get yourself signed up to the accelerator and you will never look back. And, and like, like us guys, we didn't. You know, we started seven years ago and we didn't have that help, but now we have it, it's even easier to do what we do better. Well, Kev, I've got to say to you, you, you mentioned, you know, you're never going to get perfect, but this, I, th I think you've got pretty close, mate. I think you've got pretty close with this product here because I literally obviously never drink a product that is beard oil, but it's that gorgeous of a smell that I think I've just got to just put a little bit more on because it's just... I mean, the more the merrier, eh? More the merrier. You never have too much beard oil. <laughs> and the best thing is, is that it doubles up as, as a great hair product as well. So if, you, if you're ever out, you've run out a little bit of wax, just get some, get some all in there and, you know, it's going to do some real good. Oh, it does. It gives a really nice shine to the hair as well. Look at that. God, I look like I'm in Greece. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> you look good. You pull it off. And Kev, let me ask you, because it's always going to be difficult uh, starting a small business, getting that business off the ground, whatever route you take, whether that's online, a store, whatever it is. But what, what would be your best piece of advice? Because I'm sure you've, you've, you've hit some bumps in the road. So one of the biggest pitfalls that you know, I can see people starting up a business have is one, not building in their margin. So when you sell a product, make sure that you've got enough in there to make sure you're looking out for all the added costs that you get, like advertising, um, and make sure that if you're going to sell a product, it doesn't mean it has to be cheap. I'd rather pay more for a product that delivers the value for what I'm paying. Understanding your target market, making sure that you've got a clean buffer, um, and also having a business plan, you know, it's all well and true going with your gut feeling, but I think it's important that you, you know your numbers, um, you start, you stay bootstrapped with your expenses. Uh, I see people going and getting a lot of things that are unnecessary and that they don't need. So keep your overheads low and 
one step at a time, baby steps, but just know where you want to take it as well and have that vision within you. What would be your top tips for growing as full of a beard as possible? I think it's important to match your beard style to your face shape. I mean, you've always had quite a classic Rylan look, you know, and, and it just suits, it works, but you've got such a great jawline. I mean, have you oh, carry you on, about having carry different on, styles? Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's really important to have a real good beard wash. Um, guys sometimes can get really lazy and they use a little bit of their shampoo and, oh, I'll just rub it into my beard, but it actually does a lot of damage. So having a beard wash that's designed for, for your beard um, will make all the difference. And find yourself a good barber. I know it's difficult at the minute because we're, you know, all the barbers are closed. So, you know, we've got to do a lot of self-grooming. I mean, what do you do, Rylan, for to look after your beard um, I actually I actually have always done my beard myself I've always done it myself and everyone always says to me like oh how do you get such a straight line how do you do that I just think it's practice and don't get me wrong Kev I'm sure you've done it before in the past as well you get to those points where you do go slightly too low on one side or you go slightly too high on the other and you've got to risk assess do I bring the other side down lower to match it or do I wait for that side to grow a bit more so it is a bit hit and miss but I think once you get into the swing of it you know it, it becomes like a second nature yeah you're right and, we, and you're you're completely right you know guilty as charged we have had the odd time where you've taken a little bit too much off or well, that clipper size is just one less than what you wanted it um, I think again when when we open up and we you know we can get to the barbers for the guys that are not confident and not able to look after own beards um, there's two options you can either get yourself a Mobro's beard kit which has everything you need start to finish including grooming scissors and the wash the condition the hydrate stage or find yourself a barber that has got a beard himself because yes. if he's got a good looking beard he's gonna know exactly how to look after yours and lastly just don't shave. Yeah, just let it grow. Just, just let it go. <laughs> Throw, hide your, hide your razor. Do Throw you know it away. What? Snap it in half. You're totally right. My, top, my, if I had to give my top tip for beard grooming, it would be, outgrow your beard because the more you've got to work with, the nicer finish that you're gonna get. Don't try and get that ult ultimate finish after a day of growth. Give it a week. Give it two weeks. However long it takes you. Like you can see. I'm slowly getting some more beard sort of coming through up on this line. So I'm leaving that line to grow out. And then once that's full enough, I will shave all of this to match that sort of like a trim it down to match this size, like length of beard. And then that will all become one. Yeah, you're right. You know, we, it takes four to eight weeks to grow a proper beard, you know, um, unless you're like me, you know, I can shave in the morning and have a beard by night, you know, and my <laughs> hair grows just incredibly quick. But, um, you know, I think, it's, I think it's important to be patient, you know, and, and you're right, overgrowing your beard slightly and then cutting back to um, exactly the style that you want. Almost, I guess, it's been done in the gardening world, right? You know, with, um, with hedges, you know, you always, you don't want to cut your hedges too early because they won't look right. So you, you let them grow and then and prune them back. I mean, if someone's just joined this, we, we should stress we are speaking about beards before anyone gets the wrong idea <laughs> of anything we're doing here. <laughs> Kev, one minute, mate, because I've got to say this because I know I'm going to start going through this. Alexa, add Mobro's beard oil to my shopping list. I've put Mobro's beard oil on your shopping list. Done. That simple. <laughs> uh, Kev, it's such a pleasure to speak to you, mate. Thank you so, so much for, for giving up your time and having a little chat with me. Uh, once again, thank you so much for the uh, products. I might just put this in the bath as well because I really like the scent of it. Um, and I wish you all the best for 2021.